A clever designer has eliminated some felonious ergonomic violations for the squad car. What does that mean? Well, Miles O'Brien shows us it is the next big thing for police cars. Take a look inside the average police car, and you'll see some felonious violations of the laws of ergonomics. If I have to turn on my lights and keep one hand on the steering wheel and answer the radio at the same time, my hand, I'm constantly doing something. I'm multitasking. It's a clutter of radios, switches, knobs, ticket books, guns, donuts, and of course, a computer. J.R. Songway saw the mess and had an epiphany. A student at the Rhode Island School of Design, J.R. redesigned a cop's office from the firewall up. And the finished product is pretty slick. The computer has a touch screen with a keyboard stashed in the dash. Siren and light switches on the steering wheel. There's a camera that can automatically read license plates and a digital video recorder to capture the action. It frees up a lot of space. You don't have equipment in your way. And um, it's a little bit safer. Cops are more likely to keep their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel. And the streamlined dash is less dangerous in a wreck. JR says those are good reasons to spend the extra 5000 bucks for his cool dashboard. What they do today is not cost effective because it actually puts an officer's life in danger. And there's no price for an officer's life. Word of this new design is spreading faster than an all points bulletin. Cops all over may soon have a better, safer workspace, which came through the providence of one smart designer. Miles O'Brien, CNN, New York.